Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your Monday reading, daily reading. Let's just see what shows up, what messages are wanting to come for you through the cards today. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, your comments, some of you give donations. Thank you guys. For the, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to join us if you would like to. Alrighty, so this reading is going to be good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it is a general, meaning that anything that wants to come up will in whatever area of life. Like, it's not love-themed or money-themed or anything like that. It's just general. So, let's see. I'm taking the cards that fall on the table and I'm taking them upright. Okay, Hierophant being the first card here with the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Five of Swords. Okay. Alright, Pisces. There can be some electric energies around you at this time. And when I mean electric, what I'm seeing is kind of like static. Like... Kind of like that magnetic charge that comes from like static. I don't know exactly what, what that is, so let me just clarify here. But yeah, it almost feels like there's a fire around. Like, lots of electricity, lots, lots of energy. Some of you guys may actually be in a town or city that maybe has recently gone through some kind of like um, nature fire. Sorry about that. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> wand cards all like all around. Yeah. Well, I mean, we are in Sag season, so that makes sense, right? <laughs> but we're gonna go deep into this. Just give me a minute as I go ahead and finish the spread. Be patient with me, I'll get there, I'll get to your messages. <laughs> okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You've been working quite a bit, you have been focusing a lot on the things that are important to you. You've been really putting your head down, doing all the things, okay? Being very disciplined being consistent, doing the things that maybe you don't really want to do, but you have to do them for the sake of sustaining your previous manifestations or your lifestyle, etc. But it seems like you're really putting in the work, okay? And with a good attitude too. You're finding the way to have the right attitude and to bring joy into your daily routine or what is important. You're in a very abundant place. And I think that that hard work that, you, that devotion that you have poured into something actually gives you a lot of emotional satisfaction. You may feel very proud of yourself, as you should, this time. You know, this, this time of your life is something that you have crafted, you have designed, you are building this whole beautiful landscape with, you know, the things that you're manifesting. I almost feel a little bit out of sorts, which is strange. I was very focused, and as soon as I started laying the cards, I felt very kind of like mentally foggy, a little bit ungrounded. Some of you guys may be feeling that way. There could be conflict, there could be, um, you know, people around you that all of them have a different point of view. And all of them, for some reason, are very attached to their point of view. And they may be sort of like pulling you in all sorts of directions, trying to convince you about something or trying to tell you that your way of thinking or seeing something is wrong. And just kind of like, I feel this like back and forth pool of energy here. You could, ha you could be having some kind of issue 
with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Maybe this person wants to do things differently. Maybe this person really wants to implement something that you are not interested in. And so, so they want to take all of your hard work and your energy and everything that you have poured into something and almost tell you that only if you do it their way, then that is going to be successful. And I almost hear you guys saying, like, I've been doing this for a while. Like, it's me who's been um, putting all this energy, making something successful. So I know what I need to know. Like, I don't need your guidance. I don't need your advice. And I think that this person is very prideful, very egotistical at times. And it may not sit right with them. They may feel offended by you not taking their ideas or their suggestions, stuff like that. This could be maybe something that works, someone who works for you or with you. This could be someone like a partner or a family member who just feels like they have the answer to all of your problems. And they bring that to you and you're like, but that's just not the answer that I'm going for. You know, that's not what I want to do. You're very grounded in what you know you want and how to get there. But very ungrounded, apparently, when someone comes in so intensely and tries to make you change your mind. Ultimately, believe it or not, if this is resonating with you, this is actually coming from a space of love. So no need to fear. This person simply wants to be there for you. They want you to love them. You, they want you to be grateful for their ideas. You know, what they want is to ultimately bring you the gift of a ha moment or a light bulb idea or a million dollar idea. And they want to be that person for you. It comes from a good place, you know, mixed with a little bit of the ego of, you know, I want to be the reason why you are successful or something along those lines. But it doesn't come with like dark energy at all. It's just like a little mindless. You are moving quickly. You're moving fast. It's like it's like right now, you're tapped into the universe in a way that opens this gate and the energy just flows in. Supporting your mind, your body, your routine, your work, your habits. It's like you are gonna have energy for everything you wanna do. And many of you have very high hopes, very ambitious ideas. And, you know, that ambition paired up with the energy to execute, you know, it's going to take you very quickly, very far in the right direction. You're definitely thinking in a very fun, adventurous, spontaneous, almost impulsive way. The, the things that you want to do and how you want to do them and how you want to move forward, they're definitely not going to be boring. <laughs> it's like you're choosing to do things that maybe make you feel safe, secure, but, you know, that in themselves, they're really wild and kind of awesome, you know? Like, other people may go around and say, like, wow, I can't believe that this is your job. Like, this is so awesome. This is so crazy. And you're like, yeah, it's fun. But you are definitely rejecting someone's ideas here. You guys know that I use examples of my own life sometimes. And this really feels um, like, for example, so many people have told me, like, you would be super successful if you were just to put on makeup every morning and do your readings on camera, you know, with my face on the ca on the video. And they're probably right, you know? I would probably already be past 100,000 subscribers. But at the end of the day, I don't like to wear makeup every day. I don't like to do that like that. <laughs> I like this. So I can be my PJs. I can do this at night. I don't, it's just, I just sit down whenever I feel called to and I do these readings. And this is kind of like what I'm getting. Someone who's telling you, this is your answer. And you're like, it might be yes, but I just want to do things this way. Ultimately, self-love. Show this person 
that you appreciate them, show this person that you value their concern, their intention, their desire to be there for you and help you. But also honor your boundaries and what you consider to be most pleasant to you. So at the end of the day, it seems like you're the one putting in the work here. In your environment, you may have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person. I'm hearing that this person is disheveled, disorganized, scattered. I'm seeing someone in your environment who is just very resentful. But they have this mask on as someone who's just a very kind and sweet person. But they're holding on to so much resentment. It, it burns them from the inside. Not just with you, with everybody, with everything. This is a person who is just, wow. <laughs> they, it's almost as they hate everything and everyone. be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person in your environment. If you feel like you're being drained by this person, if there is someone who matches that description that immediately comes to your mind and you've been thinking about them a lot or identifying them in, in the readings that you watch and stuff like that, it would be a good idea to protect your energy. I'm not going to lie to you. No, it's not that they're trying to do anything against you or anything like that. I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that this person, it's almost as though it's so important for them to be considered or perceived as a good person. Good person, quote unquote, you know, kind, nice, sweet, polite person. That all of this almost rage that they should have been letting out and like expressing, whether it is through, you know, assertive communication or, um, working out or whatever, all of that energy that they've been needing to release somehow, they haven't because they need to be perceived as the sweet, kind person. And it has almost started to like destroy them inside. Like, it's like an explosive energy that instead of going outwards, it kind of like went to themselves because they don't let it out in any healthy way. And just just the vibe of this person is enough to destabilize you at times. Every time you think of them, watch your energy. Watch how, watch how you feel after that thought. Because, yeah, energy protection I feel like would be quite advised here. And it could be something light. It doesn't have to be a whole big deal. It doesn't have to be a ritual. It doesn't have to be anything other than... You know, protecting yourself in a bubble of light, asking Archangel Michael to come and protect you, and, you know, any kind of technique that you feel drawn to. And if you don't know anything about it and want to learn, I'm going to leave a resource for you under this video, okay? It's called Energy Protection 101. Then in your hopes and fears, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. You have hopes to remain in this center this grounded energy very beautiful energy in which you're abundant joyful successful grateful you get to be generous because life is generous with you it's as though you know pisces that you are meant to be a king or a queen you just know it's just kind of like part of your thing I don't know, your intuition has always told you like, yeah, I am supposed to be a famous author or I am supposed to be um, a millionaire or I am supposed to be this like great inspiration for tons of people. Whatever it may be, I feel like you have a hope for your highest potential in that sense, but also a fear. And that fear, I think, comes from, for one group of you, that have not yet developed the ability to handle stress in a healthy way. Maybe you haven't gotten the um, coping mechanisms down yet or um, the supplements or habits or whatever it may be. And for those of you who feel like stress can get really, really crippling, you may be a little bit afraid of doing what it takes to get there. 
because you may say you know damn like if life is hard now like what if i become super successful and yeah it's gonna be great but it's also gonna be like way harder and i don't know if i'm up for it i don't know if i'm ready for it you know i am getting that from a group of you and the other group of you i almost feel like you have a subconscious fear of stepping into your highest potential because you have fear of what that may trigger in others you don't want to make your friends jealous to the point in which they betray you. Speak ill of you. You don't want, you know, to be so successful that you lose all of your loved ones. <laughs> or that everybody expects something um, from you. Whether it is unreasonable or reasonable, it's like, maybe you feel resistant to that. Afraid of that. At the end of the day, Pisces, I see you here as the Three of Wands, as a very, very handsome iguana. <laughs> we have a lot of these um, where I live. They're everywhere. I heard that in Florida, there's like, I don't know if this happened once or it actually happens like often. Please let me know about it because I just thought of it and I was like, oh my god, that's right, I saw this thing. Where they were like raining iguanas or something. like. What? <laughs> Comment below if you know what I'm talking about and if you can possibly give me any explanation of what the hell. I think it was like something to do with like a hurricane or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's get back on track. <laughs> Three of Wands. So you're going to be pretty much, I think, getting messy in a good way. You know, like putting hands into the work going deep you know into the waters of whatever is required from you and then you're gonna have to wait okay then you're just gonna be in a very peaceful state of you know i know what i want i've done what i need to do i have um, made clear what is negotiable and what is non-negotiable to me so now it's just a matter of waiting for those kind of like the fruits of your labor to just arrive and having the ability to wait for those in a space of peace and not anxiety. Some of you could be judged right now by some kind of authority figure in kind of like an educational realm, a teacher, a mentor, some kind of like school director, university, I don't know, dude, <laughs> person. <laughs> and they may be very Tired is what I'm hearing. They may be very tired with stuff in their own lives. So try to be patient with this person. You know, this person may seem scary. They may seem super mean and awful and terrible. But what I'm getting is that they're actually extremely sleep deprived. That's so weird. I've never got that message like that before. Extremely sleep deprived. And even if they try their hardest to be nice, it's like their body can't like do it <laughs> that's what i'm getting that message goes for someone out there who's pretty much intimidated you know or scared as fuck of their teacher mentor authority figure or something could be a boss as well <laughs> it's funny but yeah this person is they may be going through a lot of like crazy dreams dreams if you're resonating with this and you can identify this person, could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be the case, but could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces, could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, Neo, Libra. <laughs> um, this person may actually have a very high intuition. May, they may have no freaking clue what to do with it, but they may actually be going through like crazy, like, astral travels and wild dreams and crazy nightmares to the point in which they're like no longer functional in like their day-to-day -day routine and they don't know how to like turn that off maybe they have gone through some kind of like powerful awakening and they're really <laughs> they're really kind of being beat up by it i see here so if you're dealing with a person with these qualities and you can identify them Try to be patient with this person. Try to be kind. Try to just 
use your intuition to give them the space they need. I mean, if you see them, like, looking as angry as one can be, obviously don't go up to them and try to pull the niceness out of them. <laughs> Just let them be. And then when you see them a little bit more rested, then, you know, go ahead and, and demand, demand little of their time, try to do things in a way that is easy for a person who's extremely sleep deprived, if that makes sense. That goes for very few of you, but if you resonate, you resonate. And if you don't, you don't, so that's fine. My loves, I am, I think, pretty, I think I'm fully booked, honestly, for the 2022 forecasts. I have quite a few um, to complete before I consider opening more spots. I don't think I should be opening more spots unless I kind of like go faster with the ones that I already have. So for now, let's just say that my uh, availability is closed, that I'm booked. But in the next couple of days, depending on how fast I get to the ones that have already booked, I will be letting you guys know this one is important because we only offer it, I only offer it in December. And because it's for the next year, so it will only happen in December. This is not like the personalized readings that I can open back and forth um, during the year. This is just now. So I'm going to do my best, you guys. I promise you I'm taking good care of myself in order to have all the energy and the focus and everything I need to really, really give all of you who need one, all of you who want one, your month to month um 2022 forecast okay so hang in there if you have already booked please be patient with me i am getting to your name don't worry about it it is coming soon <laughs> all right my loves thank you so much for your understanding and your patience let me know if you know what the rainy iwana's situation was and if you could explain to me that that would be great <laughs> i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye